in this lecture we will learn about two dimensional array of characters okay the first thing is we will learn about two dimensional array of characters and then array of pointers to strings and then we will see which one is better and when to use which one okay so first one okay so we have string so string we saw is nothing but one dimensional array of characters okay so we, a string is nothing but a one dimensional array of characters which is terminated by slash zero so now if i have to represent multiple strings the easiest way out is using a two dimensional array okay so that will help us out in solving our problem so that's how we use uh, let's say i know that okay i have to write very small words which is not more than four characters okay so now i have to write four such names or words so i define char names for five so i write a five here because the size of uh, if i have maximum of four characters in my word one word will also one character will also be used for slash zero to end the string so i have char name four five which means i have a two dimensional array so i can have four strings and each of them can be maximum four characters long so now if you define like this of course it's character so it will start so let's say in our memory starts the base address of this character array starts as 200 and one character uses one byte or memory location then jill slash zero followed by so this is the first word then we have jack so which is the next one dimensional array then we have namo okay our prime minister in india and followed by bank okay so these are four words okay so these are four single dimensional arrays which represent word and they are contiguous so we should remember this so the thing is we have represented our array of strings okay multiple strings using two dimensional array some good things of course so you they are all contiguous so you can access them using indices and what are problems with this so first is of course if let's say my words were only two letters of two letters o h o no and let's say then wow whoa so these were the words then what will happen is that your spaces will be left that is there okay so how we do it another way okay so to represent array of strings there is another way out that is using an array of pointers okay an array of pointers to strings so a string is of course a one dimensional array but we use pointers to represent those okay so we have gel so this is how you do that char star names to an array okay so this says that okay you can have gel jack namo and bang again here but now they are not uh, what do you say they are not contiguous okay so gel starts at 200 okay then computer he randomly decides okay jack i will put at 500 okay memory location 500 namo at 700 and bang at 901 okay so this is done now what happens is that these are the places where those names are written okay the strings now basically names two is a char star array okay so it's a pointer array of pointers so this basically tells that okay first pointer is 200 okay so char star pointers so 200 is the for the gel for the next one it's jack at 500 700 it's numo and 901 it's bank so it is an array and okay let's say two memory locations two byte or four bytes are used for that memory location okay to store these addresses so at 1500 this is there 1504 is the second pointer address and so on so now this is there so names two will tell you where those different strings are located so that's what is expected now let's try to see if i have a code for this one okay so let's try to see so i'm uploading something but let's see okay the code is 
where is the code so the code is here okay so i have the code i will enlarge it so let's do it bigger okay so i have this code and i have taken something bigger care names 5 comma 10 so it's two dimensional array using an array of string is represented here by two dimensional array names jack jill mary peter and dan they're all less than 10 characters okay then another way is array of pointers so using this what i do is names to bill jim and angel deepika okay so hot heroine in india i do and then what i do is names three is patrick so here you can change also so one thing i while writing this was if you do like this you can change the names okay so now this is the code here and you can use it to print arrays okay so this is there i can try out one code for you okay so let's try out one code i will just use a simple for loop for int i is equal to zero i is less than so we have five names i plus plus and then what happens is print f percentage s we do and let's do slash n and names two okay so let's first try to print the addresses okay and see if it was really working so names two and then their values percentages so then names two and i will do i okay so i think that should and here also names two i and here it should be percentages so percentage x so i think this will work names two i will be again so these are the addresses also and if you do percentage s they should work i do this and let's try out so is it already running so now i will try to build this code let's see if it has built yes and then i should run this so what is there okay so see yeah 4030053009 so these are the bill jim and patrick okay so they are being the names here okay and let's try to see what was their names two i have used okay so names two gave me something like this and what happens with names okay so with names if i do so let's see what is going to happen so with this one you see now so there should be 28ff000 a 141e so what is the difference so we had maximum of the size was 10 isn't it so let's check it out so our size was maximum 10 and here if we see so 0 0 was the first one then 0 is the 10 is added here then 14 so they all have a difference of 10 so if i let's try to see this 4 and this is a so there is a difference of 10 this is at least there and i'm not that good at uh, see this hexadecimal def add and subtract so let's just put it out in some number and i think this will not compile here is it or should it compile because this is a c plus plus code i have tried out and i think most probably it won't compile here okay so that will give some error or it is one working fine so 20 30 40 50 60 okay so it's working fine so you can see there is a difference of 10 so now if I have to try it for names 2, I think that was also giving us, so names 2 if you try here, what will it give? So let's try out. So 20, 30, so this is also giving the same, but it's not necessary. Okay, so that's the key here that the computer might assign anywhere, but it is seeing that, okay, simple algorithm. So just it is assigning contiguously. So I hope you understand this. So uh, thanks a lot.